Hey everyone, today I want to do a little bit of a different video because I want to do a review of this new app that I just found. I tweeted it out a couple of days ago and it's called Valet for Tesla. Let me show you the website. And you can get this at teslamacapp.com. And what it is, it's a menu app. It's one of these uh, apps that sits in your menu bar so that it replicates most of the functions you'd find on the mobile app on your phone. So you can set things like climate control and um, th those types of things. So I reached out to the company and they're very kind enough to send me a free copy for review. I'm only going to be able to show you the software in the regular mode. I don't have dark mode enabled on my computer because I haven't upgraded to the latest operating system. Uh, I have some very critical software that I can't afford to go down just because of an upgrade because it's new and shiny. But nevertheless, this is the software. It sells for $9.99 US and this is where you can get it. Let's show you what the software looks like. So this is the app. We just double click on it and you get this menu bar icon and allows you to sign in one of two methods. So you can type in your credentials to your My Tesla account here, your email address and your password, or you can type in your Tesla access token. Now, if you know what this is, this is great. Um, you can go and get it off of Tesla Fi if you sign into your uh, app account, whatever. It is a unique token that is supplied by Tesla and uh, it changes every few months and it uniquely identifies your account with your car so that when authentication happens, uh, you're not sending data in the clear over the internet or usernames and passwords. So if you know what your token is, you can do that. I'm just going to sign in with my account. And after a few moments, it should communicate with your car and ta-da, there you go. So you can see here that my current charging status is complete on the car. I'll, we'll go through some of these functions. You can see here under our controls, you can unlock the car, flash your lights, honk the horn, open the front trunk, open the rear trunk. You can set your climate control on or off. You can also move the slider so you can set what your current... Uh, temperature is that you'd like. So if you want to do preheating, you're sitting out your car, well, you know, you can do it right from your computer now. You can also start your charging and you can set your rate. I have mine set at 90% every day. So let me just put that back. Hello, there we go. And then down here, it shows you your current location. I have it blurred out because, you know, for obvious reasons. But if you'd like, you can click on the button here, set, set send address, and you can actually type in an address. And of course, this only works with version nine of the software, the firmware in your car and it replicates the function of the sharing function on your app, um, on your phone, so you can send an address. And once it's sent to the car, it's automatically entered into the navigation system. Very nice feature. All right, so let's cancel out of there for a moment. Now, there are some extra functions on here. So if I click the I symbol, you can see there's the odometer on the car, your VIN number, your current version of the firmware on the car. So that's nice. And then down on the bottom, you get a little gear icon. If you click that, you get a few different options. First of all, you can set your keyboard shortcut to whatever you'd like to activate the menu. You have a, a share function. You have a feedback button. Clicking on feedback brings up this feedback form so you can send uh, feedback uh, to the company that makes this. I've been talking to the guys. They're very open to suggestions for new features. If you have bug reports or anything like that, please use this function to send it into the company. They're, uh, they seem to be very committed to make this a uh, very nice companion function for the car. And of course you have a button here for checking updates. There are no <laughs> latest updates because I've just done that. Um, you can log out of your account, of course, and then you can quit the menu bar app from here. Then there's a section func uh, separate function here under menu bar where you can set your icon. You can set it to auto and it'll automatically pick whatever car you're using. I forced it to Model X. Here you have a text function that shows you what battery level. I have mine set to battery percentage, which shows you here in the menu bar. You can also set uh, a couple other things here, including time remaining until full and none if you don't want that. And then another one under here, menu bar update frequency. This is how often does the menu bar icon and information change here depending on uh, various circumstances. So while you're charging the car, you can set it to say a minute up to 12 hours. I don't think it's reasonable to do it every minute. I think it's a little bit much, maybe every 10 minutes or something like that. And then uh, while the car is awake and not charging, set it to one hour or six hours or whatever you'd like, and then wake every 12 hours. Now, there's a couple things I have to mention here. One is the more often you pull, now it doesn't, you know, before I get into that, while you're charging, it doesn't matter what you set this to in all honesty, because the car is already pulling uh, power from the grid. What we're talking about here is phantom drain. While your car is not charging, it's just sitting there. Um, if you keep pulling the car over software, either through the app or something like this, uh, the car has to wake up and communicate with the network. And that uh, leads to something called phantom drain. Uh, don't be doing this too often. I recommend something like maybe uh, every six hours and then wake the car every 12 hours. The less time you talk to the car, the more range you're going to get, especially in the colder months, as I've done in a previous video, that uh, you know, in the colder months, this is particularly critical. 
and sometimes it does this. There we go. Okay, so if I click on it, it goes away. So that's a quick review of the um, of the Tesla Valet app uh, for Tesla. Sorry, Valet <laughs> Valet for Tesla app. Check it out. Uh, it's not without a few issues. I'm I'm talking to the company about doing some bug reports and so on and so forth. So if you like this app, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, check it out. There is no Windows version that I am aware of. This is just something I just happened to run across. So if you're on a Mac and you uh, want some functions from your Tesla app, maybe on your computer, hey, why not? These guys have written a fairly inexpensive app uh, to be able to do that. So anyways, that's it for the short video review. I'm going to leave it like this and I'll uh, probably do an update in a little while just to see what other features uh, come along down the road. But I like it so far. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like, share and subscribe and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.